good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on which part of the world you are watching this video from. Welcome to my channel. I'm Black Bright and I broadcast out of the United Kingdom. I chat on a various, um, various number of channel, um, topics. They can range, well, to be honest, they're consistent in as much as I believe that what I share is helpful to someone somewhere. So, um, today I wanted to talk about Jamaica leaving the International Monetary Fund. Now, that is a big leap. The International Monetary Fund is an organization that can lend up to one trillion to its member countries. I think there's 128 of them, up to one trillion, and um, there's no interest. What they do in exchange for this one trillion is that they really monitor your spending. They monitor everything you do. They set out plans. And it's just like anybody who invests in something. They want to make sure the money is not being wasted and they want to know what you're doing with it. Anyway, um, Jamaica is in a position now to leave the International Monetary Fund. What? That's fantastic. The only thing I worry about is, are they stable enough? Are they being coached by um, investors? Because investors do not want third party engagement. That's my only concern because I'd hate for them to withdraw. I mean, if they're in a financial position to withdraw, I mean, um, China has been investing billions into Jamaica. So maybe they are in a financial position to withdraw from that stronghold. They're not going to withdraw completely. They're going to do a bit like what Venezuela did, because I think Venezuela is the only other member country that that withdrew from the International Monetary Fund. They, he, they didn't withdraw completely. They still took advice um, from them and they still worked with them. And I think that is what Jamaica is going to do. They're still going to fall on them for technical advice and um, that kind of stuff. So it's quite interesting that Jamaica is in a position to do that. Um, they seem to be coming up stronger and stronger. Did you know 1.7 million visitors since January to, to Jamaica? I mean, it's almost like it's blossoming but anyway, it's it's good news um, that they're in a position to leave. I mean, it's like having a mortgage and you pay it off and you're like, oh, thank God. How many of us can manage to pay off a mortgage? But if you are in that position and you have been able to um, pay it off, it's like such a relief. I don't believe that um, Jamaica has paid it off, but they're probably paying it in such a way that they're no longer a vulnerable or they're no longer seen as being not in a position to pay it back. So anyway, I'll give a quick read of the source. I think oh, I forget where I took it from now, but I'll put the link underneath. <clears throat> I think it was the Jamaican Information Service, actually. I took this from. I have to clear my throat. Okay. Jamaica exits the International Monetary Fund. Jamaica is one of the 189 member countries who has this arrangement with the International Monetary Fund. Jamaica's latest relationship with the International Monetary Fund started in 2013 when the country entered into a four-year, $932 million extended fund facility, in brackets EFF. This arrangement ended in 2016 when it was replaced by a US dollar 1.6 billion precautionary standby arrangement. I guess that means they need that the money is there if they need it. International Monetary Fund resident representative Dr. Constant Longken Nguana says Jamaica has made tremendous progress over the last six years and is now ready to exit its current arrangement with the organisation. I am pleased but astonished that Jamaica's partial independence from the IMF, this is me, 
And I'm wondering if this is because China has financed so much of Jamaica and are protecting their long term interests, especially since they have so much money invested in Jamaica. They won't want any tied to third parties. That was me speaking out loud because I was trying to think, I know they've invested billions, so they could probably pay off the trillion quite easily if they needed to. Anyway, but then it was replaced by 1.6. But that was a standby arrangement. It didn't necessarily mean that they used the money. It was just on standby, just in case they needed it. I'm assuming. Anyway, background of the IMF's primary mission is to ensure the stability of the international monetary system the system of exchange rates and international payments that enables countries and their citizens to transact with each other. They are allowed to lend up to a maximum of one trillion to member countries at zero interest in order to maintain stability and prevent crises in the international monetary system. The IMF monitors member country policies as well as national regional and global economic and financial developments through a formal system known as surveillance and we all know what that word is is this what jamaica maybe under the advice is trying to avoid the surveillance aspect that's what i said before um and i also said while it's admirable that jamaica feels confident to leave the imf i'm wondering what vulnerabilities they may be exposing themselves to Apart from lending money, it does a lot of other things, including providing advice to member countries and promoting policies designed to foster economic stability. That bloody alarm is driving me nuts, but I'm going to have to leave it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to run upstairs and turn it off. And I don't intend to do that in the middle of this video. So bear with me and that for the time being. Reduce... Um, Reduce vulnerability to economic and financial crisis and raise living standards. Jamaica intends to benefit from their technical advice. Um, I did mention that Venezuela is another member country who amended working arrangements with the IMF so that they are not allowed to make Venezuela's analysis and recommendations public. Jamaica's current program with the IMF is scheduled to officially end in November 2019. And as mentioned, Jamaica very wisely will continue to benefit from technical assistance. Jamaica has reached a place where we, the IMF, don't need to be here all the time. We are taking a back seat and Jamaica is in the driving seat. With what Jamaica has achieved over the past six years, we believe Jamaica is ready to exit the IMF and run its own business, said Dr. Nguana on the 29th of July, 2019. When Jamaica exits the financial support of the IMF, there will still be that consultation, which we will do for the United States, United Kingdom and all our member countries. But it is not going to be the same arrangement of setting targets and monitoring, Dr. Do Nguana said. We will offer our advice through technical assistance and so on, but not the heavy monitoring added that this is a sign of maturity and confidence in Jamaica's ability to manage its own affairs. In the meantime, Dr. Naguana praised the efforts of successive administrations since 2013 to turn the Jamaican economy around and noted the seamless continuity of the IMF program across administrations. Up to 2011, Jamaica was in and out of the IMF programs and there wasn't a steady process. Since 2013, which is believed to be the turning point, Jamaica acknowledged the problem and said, we need to fix this. Dr. Naguana noted that the turnaround is huge, citing the reduction in public debt and unemployment, increase in the foreign reserve, rise in business and consumer confidence and the success of the stock market, market which is the best performing on earth. Whoa. Anyway, he commended the government for the measures being put in place and ensured that gains achieved under the economic reform program are preserved. These include work to establish the pro proposed independent fiscal con council. Sorry, let me read that again. These include work to establish the proposed independent fiscal council to monitor the government's economic program and fiscal rule framework, modernizing the Bank of Jamaica and putting in place a policy framework for disaster risk financing macro fiscal capacity. 
Anyway, I don't understand this bloody phone because I switched it off. I put it on Do Not Disturb. I put on. I put it so no alarms go off. And there you have it. It's going off doing its own thing. Anyway, my people, I hope you have a blessed day. And that's all for now. Hope you found that interesting for my fellow Jamaicans in particular. Bye.